I said, oh, oh, Sheila, let me love you till the morning comes. I, oh, <laughs> no. All right, guys, this is your boy, D. Anthony, back with you with another uh, breakdown. So, I'm late. I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm a little late on this video. Um, but I have been watching this HBO series called Insecure. Now, this show is hilarious, it's brilliant, it's uh, adult, it's for, it's pretty much everybody. They go all over the place as far as the actual issues, uh, but mostly it's funny and brilliant. It's not just like they're trying to be funny, it's, um, it's like it's really well thought out. Uh, it's uh, even the sarcasm is really funny. Now, this lady, Issa Rae, is brilliant. Um, so, if you don't know who Issa Rae is, she's pretty much an internet famous person. She has a bunch of different, um, I guess, shows online, but her most famous one was uh, Awkward Black Girl. And I, I definitely liked Awkward Black Girl. Um, to me, sometimes that's how I feel sometimes. Like, I don't feel, uh, I don't know, I guess I don't feel like I fit sometimes. So, I get it. That that show resonated with me. And then to have this, you know, with a bigger budget, and, you know, it seemed like she's, you know, stepping her game up and bringing us even more of her talents. And I definitely like it. So, the show's premise. So, this, uh, we've, we're up to four or five episodes. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure it's four or five. I guess I should look that up. So we're on six episodes. We're on six episodes, and to me, this is what I do every Sunday night. Comes on HBO Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Um, I have HBO Go or HBO Now. I think it's Now. So I watch it as soon as it comes out on for streaming. Uh, so, but if you just have cable, HBO Sunday nights 9 p.m. Uh, but pretty much what it's about is it is a black girl who's really trying to find her way. She's in her early 30s. Um, she is kind of pursuing her life goal, but she's not living up to her potential, maybe. Um, so she helps kids. She helps inner city kids. Um, she's, well, she's I guess she's with a school program. I guess the schools partner with their company and they take the kids to do certain things. So she's doing what she would like to do. Um, but she doesn't really feel like she connects with the kids as much um, because they are clowning her. Like, soon as the first episode is the kids clowning her on her relationship, on her clothes, everything. You know, so you know that whole, what are those? That's those type of kids. You know, and she's, uh, I guess, trying to be presentable. And they're clowning her because she ain't got on Jordans and stuff like that. You know, so um, it's pretty funny. Um, and then, you know, like her boyfriend... He's kind of like, he's a, a, a IT guy who wanted to start his own app company, you know, but he hasn't done anything as far as like the app or his day-to-day -day life, you know, so he's kind of like a bum, kind of like a low-key bum sitting on the couch trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life, and that's taking a toll on their relationship, um, and it's just causing this, this separation between them, or this tension between them, you know, so... Uh, it's a, it's an amazing show, you know. Her and her best friend are pretty funny. She's pretty funny. Rapping, she raps in the in the mirror to try to pump herself up. That's her affirmation of the day is to go in the mirror and and rap to herself, like you know, like yeah, I'm the best, better than the rest. You know, you know. So she's in there in there like pumping herself up, you know. So um, that part is funny because uh, you don't really see um, a lot of females rapping. You know, so I, I like that they put that up there. You know, it's not even a lot that's in hip-hop, you know. So, I mean, there are some, but, uh, but anyway. So, I like that. I like, you know, how um, I feel like the show stays to their blackness. Like, it's not trying to be whitewashed. It's not trying to be thuggish. You know, it's just a regular, regular black people living day to day. You know, I feel like we don't get that in between. You know, we either get the Cosby's or we get the wire. You know, like, come on. Let me, let me, 
you know, I want to, I want to see something that's, you know, in in between, like a regular black person that most black people can fit in between. And I feel like this show, this show does that for sure. So I definitely appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's a six episodes. So if you, if so, if you want, if you're interested, then you can go and binge all the way up to episode six, and then you know you can go week to week like me because I can't, I can't wait till this show comes out. You know, so yeah, I, I just wanted to give a, a quick little review um on it and you know give it its due i'm sure there's a lot of people that's out there doing it i just want to do mine because i watch it so i'm like i keep watching this every week but i haven't done a video on it like what's going on here uh so yeah definitely watch it it's gonna be funny it's hilarious anyone can watch it it's not like i think everyone can see themselves in here um but i i, I really like it so um Oh, and her boyfriend, if you didn't know, is, if you used to watch the game, he was blue from the game. So, if you like him, if he, you know, makes sure he's eye candy for you, I guess, females, go ahead, or women, I, I, I just learned I can't say female anymore, so, women, um, <laughs> go watch it, for sure. So, alright. I'm DeAnthony, Break Room Blitz, baby. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, um, and watch the other videos that we have. You know, we do movie reviews, we do uh, show reviews like this, and we also do like a tech review or a toy review. Uh, we have a toy box segment on our on our page too, so check that out as well. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Peace.